Good day and welcome to Instrument's YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at our program TurboTime. And on today's video, we're going to show you how to add an employee on TurboTime. So to do that, you first have to open up TurboTime. If you look on your desktop, you'll see it says TurboTime Desktop. If you open that up, see step number two says TurboTime. You'll see that this is SQL version 7. It is the latest version of TurboTime. If you give that a double click, you'll see at the bottom it'll load. Once it's finished loading, it'll ask you for a username and password. Once you've done that, you then have to go to your employee list. So I have a default database loaded, so there should be no employees. So you click on employees. You then click on employees again. Or alternatively, you could just click F5. It takes you to the same place. So to add a new employee, you'll then click Add on the top right hand corner over here. It'll ask you for default information. So let's add John Test. So the employee number will be number 11. Okay, it'll ask you for a name. All that it is push tab. So we'll say John Test. Tab again. This is his payroll number. So his payroll number can be different. So let's just say it's 1212. Tab again hourly pay rate. You can put in hourly pay rate if you choose. If it doesn't affect you, however, you can just leave it at 10 Rand or at zero. It makes no difference. Tab again. It'll ask you what status is he. So currently his status is active, obviously, because you're adding him as a new guy. But if for whatever reason he's leaving or he's suspended, you can then just say suspended, cancelled, or terminated. Beneath that, it'll ask you what department he's going to work for. So if we click on the drop-down list here, we're going to say he reports to the factory department. Beneath that, I'll ask you what cost center he is. We like to always use open makeup, and that will be apparent later on when we do reports. So right now, we're just going to do open makeup. It'll then ask you which report center does he report to. So his report center is his supervisor. So he reports to the factory manager he reports to the factory department. Holiday group. So what are holiday groups? In this version of TurboTime, you can have different holiday groups. So you can have one holiday group for the Christian holidays, one holiday group for the Muslim holidays, and one holiday group for the Islamic holidays, and so on and so forth. Most of the companies, however, only adhere to South African public holidays. So we would then just select the only holiday group that's available to them. Beneath that, I'll ask you work cycle. So all your work cycles, which are your shifts, will be pre-configured when we install the software for you. So then you would all, ha all you would have to do is select the work cycle that is applicable to this person. So you'll see now, John Test only has a single work cycle, which is eight to five, Monday to Friday. And the last thing that you have to add is his card number. So when he goes and places his finger, or his face, or his vein, or presents his card on the machine, what number is he on that machine? So, well, for John Test, I've already loaded a dummy person on a machine, and I've given him card number 11. At the bottom there, you'll see it says date joined. So now date joined is obviously the date that he joined. Just remember, if you are adding his employee number, later than when he started clocking, you need to put date joined at the date that he started clocking on the system. And that's it for how to add an employee. If you now go OK, it'll then save. So you'll see here 11, green, which means he's active. John test, work cycle 8 to 5, card number 11, open makeup, and he reports to the factory department. When you've done adding all your employees, you can then just go OK here in the middle of the screen to exit out of your employee list. And that's it for this episode, guys. For any other questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to call Instrument. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.